criteria for congruency of triangles. Okay. Let us say M N O P Q. The question is prove that triangle M O N is congruent to triangle Q O P using A S A rule. Now under the A S A rule I need to have two angles and the common side between these two angles as equal. Now if I look at these two triangles, let's say for example I look at M O N. Now the only side that I know in this triangle is the M N side, right? So M N is the side. So the other two angle that has to be equal should be what? Angle N and angle M. This one. I know the computation as the calculation as to how much is angle N, but I don't know how much is angle M. So the first thing I do is I compute angle M. Now I know that sum of triangle, three angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degree. So angle M plus angle N plus angle O should be equal to 180 degree. Or angle M is equal to 180 degree minus angle N minus angle O. I know the value of O is angle N is 80 degree and at O is 20 degree. So 180 minus 100 minus 20 will give me 80 degree. So the value of angle M in this case is 80 degree. This is what I have found. Okay. What is the other thing I, that I need to know? The other thing I need to know is this angle. Angle Q. Why? Because in this triangle POQ the only length which is given to me is PQ. So therefore I need to know this and this angle to see whether the ASA congruency rule works or not. Now let's first solve angle POQ. How much is this angle? Now angle POQ should be equal to angle MON. Why? Because this angle is vertically opposite to this angle which means that this is 20 degree. Why? Because this is vertically opposite angles. Very good. So now I know that this question mark that I had created here is 20 degree. Now what will be the value of Q? Again, by the same logic that sum of a triangle is equal to 30, 180 degree, angle Q will be equal to 20 plus 80 plus angle Q is equal to 180 degree. So angle Q is equal to 180 minus 80 minus 20 which will again give me equal to 80 degree. It's the same computation as this one. So now shall we see how do we move in angle triangle MON and triangle QOP. So first thing is the angle. Let's say angle P and angle So let's say first one is angle P. 
angle P is equal to 80 degree. Corresponding to P here is angle N. Angle N we also know is 80 degree. So the angle side is done. Let me do it with a different color. Side PQ MN. So for PQ you have MN or NM whatever you might care. Both of them are 5 centimeter each. So even this condition is satisfied. Right? And then angle Q which is sitting here and angle M. Again both of them are also 80 degree. So therefore the angle side angle criteria is satisfied and we say that triangle MON is congruent to triangle QO.